My name is Nadia Fawid. I'm a Syrian uh, journalist who's been based in Beirut for the past three years. I remember August 4 being a very, uh, like, it was a very normal day. It was actually a little too normal. Uh, I had been worried about my dog for the past three days. I have two dogs, Brownie and Lulu. Uh, Brownie had a fever. He had a fever for the past three days and I was very worried. So I wanted to take him to the vet. Anyway, um, uh, I took uh, Brownie to the vet. Um, everything was fine there. I remember the first explosion happened. We, we, we were all really scared but not as scared as we were going to be. Just a few minutes later or a few seconds later, it's all really extremely uh, traumatizing and a, and a little bit blurry. Now, when I do think about it, um, uh, the second explosion happened. And this is when we flew. We literally flew to the bath to the back of the vet clinic. Um, there was glass everywhere. But at that moment, I had noticed the vet that I was gonna go see. Um, he was extremely bloody. Um, we did not know where the blood was coming from exactly. I remember trying to go back to my apartment. I live in Sursa, which is extremely, extremely close to the port. There were some people going opposite ways. There were some people on the streets. Uh, they were injured. Uh, roads were being closed, uh, people were panicked, so much traffic, so much traffic and so much glass and so much blood. Mostly the glass, every, yeah, every glass I have in the house was completely destroyed. Um, but I wasn't really worried about my house, I was worried about my pets and I was looking for Lulu. And then um, as I looked down from my window that I have in my bedroom, I saw her, I saw that she had flown with the window seal. Uh, four to five floors to her death. I woke up the second morning. I was still trying to register everything that had happened. Um, I got a few calls from a few newspapers who, who wanted me to write for them. Um, and uh, looking back now, I'm really grateful because this had helped me not think about what happened with me too much. And it made me see what other people went through. Um, it also made me um, also made me productive. I think it's important to be productive when you're extremely sad, so you don't really sit alone with your thoughts. It's very depressing, especially after something so traumatizing had just happened to you. But for something to happen so randomly and suddenly and with such large impact, that was, yeah, and he, um, God bless Beirut. <laughs> That's it.